Hello, this is Bakhtar Mahmood and you're watching The Now. Restrictions intensified amid the upsurge in violence against Yasin Malik's imprisonment in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Upsurge in the violence has been observed in the Indian occupied Kashmir after Yasin Malik got sentenced to life imprisonment. At least 12 innocent Kashmiris have been killed in the Indian occupied Kashmir since an Indian court sentenced prominent Kashmiri pro independence leader Yasin Malik to life in prison. Several anti India protesters were arrested in the valley. Moreover, the arrested youth were publicly humiliated. The arrested protesters were made to hold their earlobes and their images while holding the earlobes were uploaded on social media. Making Kashmir residents hold their earlobes or do sit-ups on the roadside was common in the 1990s. This practice has largely stopped, however, the authorities have started public humiliation in the Kashmiri protesters again. Meanwhile, the management of Srinagar's main mosque, also a popular site of the anti-India protest, said that authorities did not allow the Friday best. Jamia Masjid management said that the authorities locked it down, turning away men and women who had come to offer the prayers on Friday. Indian authorities in the Indian occupied Kashmir have imposed comprehensive restrictions as protests intensified after Yasin Malik's sentence. Mobile and internet service was suspended in the region soon after the court announced the quantum of Yasin Malik's punishment. The restrictions and the violence in the Kashmiris constitute a blatant violation of the UN Charter of Human Rights. The international community must not condone India's high-handedness in Kashmir. The solution to the Kashmir issue lies in the practical implementation of the Security Council's resolution. India's hardline approach will threaten peace and stability in the region.